Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Robin 94 with uh, some more uh, requested Mapster 32 tutorials. I'm sorry it takes uh, such a long time for me to make these because, uh, well, basically, making uh, gameplay videos uh, of Let's Plays is for uh, more fun for me personally. But I'm uh, also very glad to uh, actually have some people who uh, want uh, to learn more about Mapster. So. Uh, I'll uh, do my best to uh, help you and uh, start off with the beginning. Um, explaining the basics uh, is actually the harder part because when I just explain separate things, then I just make it and tell me tell you what I do. So uh, yeah, so here I have uh, my sector created. Um, let's just adjust, and the thing is. Uh, I don't really make a lot of Mapster 30, uh, n not a lot of Duke Nukem maps anymore, and mostly made Doom maps. So I'm more used to uh, making Doom maps than Duke Nukem maps. So uh, yeah, I, I need to practice a bit as well, but I do remember most of the keys when trying them out. So uh, anyway, to uh, when you have a sector, you drag your uh, cursor, uh, your uh, arrow in the sector, and then you press the Num Enter key to enter the 3D mode. So here we are in 3D mode. Um, you can look around with your arrow keys, and you can also move around with your arrow keys, which uh, is how you basically maneuver around. Then you also have your mouse over here, and with that all together and your keyboard, you can do lots of stuff in 3D mode. So uh, first of all, you want to know uh, the navigation. So you can, uh, like I said, with the arrows, you can just move around. Um, you can hold your uh, right mouse button and then you can rotate the camera any way you want to. Now note, uh, when you mo you uh, look down and press forward, you will, will not go downwards, you will just keep going forward. So this is only looking and not actually m changing the direction you're going to move to. Um, then you have the A and Z buttons to move upwards and downwards. So now you see this is like uh, there are different modes uh, which you can switch with the caps lock key. So uh, let's just uh, go into Z mode. It's locked sector mode like you could see l down uh, at the bottom of the screen. So when I press A and Z it changes. Well, This is kind of weird when I go to the floor, to the ceiling. Anyway. Um, when I press the Z key, I go down like this, and when I press the A key, I go up like this. And when I hold it, it goes like this. Um, so yeah, that's that, and I press, press caps lock again. Now it's locked free Z mode. Now it goes real smooth. I prefer using this one because it's just very smooth and you can easily navigate around the area. And then the final one is gravity mode. Uh, which pr when you press A when you hold it you are basically jumping in the air and when you press Z and holding it you're basically crouching and this is to actually uh, simulate how uh, how big uh, your character will be in game so if I would start this map uh, Duke Nukem would be around this height and walking around like this instead of this or this so you can have a bit of a feeling how big you should make things in your level. Um, so yeah, that's that. So you can also uh, move around while holding the left mouse button and then move around your mouse and you can rotate like this and move forward and backwards very fast like this to uh, navigate. You can also hold both your left and right mouse button and then you can move around like this and you also have uh, you can also hold your middle mouse button and then you can only move forward and back and not to the left and right like you would do when uh, holding the left mouse button because then you can rotate as well and you cannot rotate while holding the middle mouse button only uh, so yeah this is basic movement um what you want to do is uh well of course edit your sectors uh 
So uh, one of the most common things is to uh, adjust the ceiling and floor height. You do that by uh, using page up and page down with while holding your cursor for the floor on the floor and for the ceiling either on the ceiling or on the wall. So like that I'm pressing page up and page down to higher and lower the ceiling. Same goes with the floor. However, uh, note uh, now my mouse is on the floor and I'm still moving the ceiling up and down. That's because uh, because I'm in full screen, uh, my computer thinks my mouse is on the wall, but it's actually on the floor. So that's just a minor error uh, in my PC. You uh, So yeah, the, ignore that. Uh, but basically, you would uh, need to hold your mouse on the floor to move the floor like this to adjust the height. Um, so if I would lower this you'd see I would eventually lose uh, sight of the floor. So in order to change that you can hold the left mouse button to lock and that means your mouse is locked on the floor so you can move it down as far as you want and move it up as well while still holding your mouse key wherever you want to. Um, then I believe there's also uh, yeah you can press control and then page up and down to move uh, in to move in bigger steps that's when you want to make it uh, higher or lower very very fast um, so yeah that's that um, you can change, uh, well let's first change the textures. Uh, you can change the texture by hovering your mouse over uh, a floor or a wall and pressing the V key. Then you will enter a menu where you have all your used textures. We currently just have one so we press V again and we enter uh, a menu where you have all the textures available in the whole game and that's a lot. If I just scroll through everything, yeah those were all. So if I just scroll a bit slower now, just to give you an idea of what's available to you. So those are basically all kinds of textures. There is a way to mod your game and add your own textures, but I am not known with modding uh, Duke Nukem. Uh, I'm only a map designer. I've never made mods myself. So uh, I, 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 I am very sorry if you're interested in that, but I cannot help you with that. I'm uh, sorry for that. Um, so yeah, let's just choose a texture. Uh, let's choose uh, this texture, which is, uh, funnily enough, the same one I used in my original video as well. So let's just change it up. Uh, you can even make it water if you want, but that, that will come later. Um, so we can choose, uh, choose any texture we want. Um, I could choose this one. So uh, now you see we have uh, a texture here. Uh, you can change the brightness of the texture by scrolling up and down. So we can make it very dark, even as dark as this, making it unseeable, making the texture unseeable. And move up. You can even make it very bright like this. Same goes for the others. So uh, what you'll want to do is make, you know, uh, you could just not have a care in the world and just keep your texture like this. But, or if you'd be willing to make very nice looking levels, uh, you may, might want to adjust uh, the texture. So you can either do that by moving the ceiling. So maybe this would look better. I mean, this looks better because it has like a thing on the bottom and at the top. So that would look better than this. However, if you necessarily want your uh, root ceiling to be this high, you can also change the size of the texture like this. You can even make it very blurry like this. And you can even hold shift to move around your texture. And then, uh, no, I didn't even tell it. Uh, you can use the num arrow keys to uh, change the size. Sorry. Uh, and then shift and the num arrow keys to 
move them around like that and you can do stuff like this basically change it up however you want you can even do this and change them like this as well or like this and you'd have very small lots of textures stuff like that so let's change it a bit to normal size this is rather big so let's just change it to something like this <sighs> all right um so so uh, something you'd want to do is uh when you're making rooms you, you of course can't be asked to go to every wall then re-choose the texture like this you know uh that would be a very hard job for a good map maker that uh, has to spend lots of time in making a big level so what you could do is uh hover your mouse over the texture and press the tab key you see here my clipboard just changed so now I can hover over another mouse and press the enter key to paste my texture and I can even do it on the ceiling and the uh, uh, floor uh, so yeah just choose another floor texture and a ceiling texture like so um, also another thing I forgot to mention if you prefer using uh, your keyboard when looking around instead of your mouse you can also hold control and then press A and, D and Z or Z uh, to look upwards and down so you can just shake your head like this and so on but yeah let's move on um, you might uh, want to make uh, outdoor areas so now we have an indoor area um, so what you can do is select an outdoor area uh, thingy so we need to um, think this texture is it so we have a texture of it you see uh, there's a texture when we press P uh, not on the floor because this will happen so on the ceiling you press P and then you will see it will change into a city background background uh, and it will be uh, nice scenery so uh, I'm just changing the texture here to show you different kinds of uh, options you will have available to you so here you have a sky here and here's on the moon and here are multiple earths stuff like that here's a big earth multiple ones here's all around earth it's just earth earth everywhere and moons and you get the idea here's just stars and yeah so how you change that by scrolling is uh, by holding your left mouse button and then scrolling and you can change textures very quickly so if I if I just randomly want to change I can do so I like this texture a lot so if I would copy this one and paste it here and you'd see this does not look pretty in a uh, level designer perspective so I could just move this around like this and it would be much prettier however I might want to change this up a bit see how far it goes well maybe something like this would be pretty so a nice connection like that and so on and so on and it's, it's up to you to make it look good so you can make this smaller like that maybe even this one smaller however you want to I mean it's your level you, you're the one designing it uh, you're allowed to make it however make it look however you want to um, so yeah let's uh, add an extra area
and now uh, I've made a separate sector here on the ceiling so uh, let's show you it so you can see I can either move this like that but that would look unrealistic because of this but I will be able to get higher like this and see more of here so this is basically like a wall so I could do this and then you'd have a ceiling here and an effect like this see so that would look like this so if I move that upwards it would be like this and if I press P again it would look like this same would be over here if I press P here and keep it over here the outside it would look like this so that, so that was basically my plan to do at the beginning to actually lower this and then copy this copy and I would have like a small roof area over here of course if you'd move up here if you'd hire this this would get higher as well but if you just walk around here it would li look like a nice little roof thingy to cover under from the rain so that's basically how you uh, make uh, your little uh, indoor and outdoor areas So another thing you might want to do is uh, adding uh, items and stuff like that to your map. So uh, what you'd want to do is uh, press the S key to add a sprite. You can also do this in 2D mode. And then here's your sprite. As you can see it just moves around when we move around. So we hover our mouse over it and just press V two times and we change the texture. Uh, basically changing the texture of a sprite will make it just a sprite so um, if I press this texture I would see this and we'll just move around however I pre can press the R key and then it will become flat like this and I can press it again and now you see it's on the ground here if, let me just hover it up see now we have a hovering platform like that uh, but yeah that's uh, something more advanced for making uh, bridges and stuff like that I'll uh, do that in an another tutorial so press R again so we have our floating piece over here and I think yeah we can m by pressing control by holding it and then pressing page down you we can move it to the floor and p by pressing page up while holding control we move it to the ceiling that's pretty easy to change them so let's change it up again um, what do we want to place well we, we on the top here you can see all kinds of ammo here you have uh, three kinds of uh, freeze ray ammo because it's uh, like a little image uh, of three images moving around so if I change this you see it stands still in this one as well so it's basically I think just these two very quickly playing see when I switch between them that's just very quickly playing between them and when I just use the normal one which is the actual item um, it, it will be the item um, same goes with the atomic health when I choose the other ones it's just it's just multiple images when I scroll around them very fast so uh, let's just uh, do it easily and place a shotgun so now you see the shotgun is pretty big we can even make it bigger by the same way like we make textures bigger on the wall we can make it as big as we want but it will stay, stay the same size in the game as far as I know unless it has been modified can also make it very small however you want to but it will stay the same size same goes for enemies you can make them bigger but uh, they will not change in size as far as I know uh, you can change uh, eggs you know the eggs where the face hugger thingies the slimers come out you can make those bigger and smaller and they will actually be big and small like that so you can make some nice vari variant eggs 
of different sizes in a nest. So here we have our shotgun, very nice. I wonder, I'm not even sure if you can make them float or not, if they'll be on the floor. I think they'll fall automatically. Yeah, they'll fall automatically. Um, so next thing we'd want to place is uh, a monster maybe. Let's try it out. Let's uh, go down. You can also scroll to go faster. Um, and even move with your uh, st mouse. And well we have uh, a list trooper. We can make him as big as we want but he will stay the same size in game so that doesn't matter so you can move around uh, your sprite or monster or whatever you placed any sprite either in 2d mode by holding your left mouse button or on it or holding shift and then selecting it and you can just move it around or make a video of it making him walk toward you I'm gonna eat you then he comes on the screen and then he eats you okay so uh, that's that so another thing you can do uh, is press alt P and then you can write in a number to change the color palette or however you say it so this one two three gives like little I don't know I don't see a difference four five six seven eight nine some some colors do not some numbers do nothing 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 so you have like lots of different colors so 21 makes it red and makes it a commander that's a able to teleport and you have 23 is yellow and you can 12 to make it white um, stuff like that but you can also make it like uh, let's see what was it yeah number four you make it very dark so it's like a dark alien and what I showed in my previous video as well you can press uh, the U key was it the U key why doesn't it work now it was supposed to work hold on oh no it's the T key I'm sorry so you can make it transparent one time slightly or slightly transparent or two times to make it very transparent so if I give it a color palette of four and then press T two times we have like a very ghost type enemy that's very hard to see if you if you'd want that that would be pretty cool to make you can do that with enemy any enemy um, so yeah that's that um, are there any other basic controls I should think of hmm well obviously uh, deleting stuff you do with the delete button but uh, delete is my record button so uh, it wouldn't be handy for me to uh, press it now to show you because it would stop recording um, but yeah uh, let's just you can place different objects in the game I think most of them do uh, make different sizes if you resize them in game but I'm not sure uh, so just watch out to not uh, choose fake ones like check the right bottom corner so if I choose this egg over here you wouldn't see nothing in the right bottom corner but if I choose this egg you see right bottom corner egg so now this is the right egg to actually hatch from an enemy and you can resize it make a big egg a slightly thinner one or small egg very small tiny egg however you want to it's up to you you can change it to whatever you want a, a hologram to spin around or uh, yeah well there's lots of different things you could choose from like an explosive barrel if you shoot it it would explode um, so if you'd want to make a clock you could uh, press uh, 
I'm sorry, not V, S place a sprite on here. It would be a flat sprite that you could change with R. And then you can press V on it and choose like a clock uh, sprite over here. And you can also change the size and move it up and down, stuff like that. And you can enter 2D mode to the right onto the wall and rotate it with the uh, dot and uh, I don't know how it's called it's to the right of your M key you have like two small dots and the question mark after that the two small dots are uh, the arrow thingies you use to turn them around so if I place it here and turn it like this it would be on this wall like that like so I think I've screwed up this texture now it's good so yeah um, those are I think your basic uh, 3d mode controls you can just place stuff and you know make fun things even place a boss if you want to place a barrel place a hamburger let's place a hamburger on the floor like a rod now a hamburger let's place some more stuff more hamburgers we can even I think um, this place anymore yeah we can copy it to our clipboard and place many hamburgers on the floor there's hamburgers anywhere everywhere hamburgers even on the walls hamburgers are closing in on world domination hamburgers and then we can do anything we want to because it's your map do everything anything you want to make in your map that's basically uh, we can make lots of mail lots of mail 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 everywhere mail yeah basically that same goes for enemies you can place lots of enemies of the same time you can copy it and just place ghost enemies everywhere and that would uh, end up being a big mess I could show you it should I the hamburger mail and ghost enemy room of death yeah I might show it alright let's do so Alright, so here we have our user map, and we had it called Hamburger Mail Room of Death. Come get some. We're gonna fail hard. That's how it would look like. Let's use God Mode. Let's cheat some weapons. So we have our mail bags. And here we have our hamburgers, which we can also destroy. And so we have cleaned up everything. Hooray. Let's grab all the pistol ammo. My name has been Roboy94. And thank you for watching.